Scouts, Betsy Nichols here, Program Specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota in Wisconsin Lakes and Pines, returning to you from Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part three of four for the Bliss Live It, Give It journey, which is also known as the Ambassador It's Your Story, Tell It journey. Uh, before we dive in, let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great. So. Today we're going to kind of continue our conversation that we had last week about, um, you know, realizing our dreams and then also realizing the dreams of other people. You know, are there any uh, similarities between those dreams and is there a way that we can um, help someone else achieve their dreams? Because ultimately what this whole journey is going to kind of culminate into is um, a take action project that will um, kind of look like you um, helping someone else achieve their dreams. Um, because ultimately, you know, if we all have an opportunity to achieve our dreams, then the world will be a better place. So we are going to kind of look at the steps that we need to take to start to um, seek and select dreamers. So if you um, do have access to the Bliss book, we're looking at the Give It side and um, I'm in chapter two where we're looking at um, how to seek and select a dreamer. So the tips that we have for um, seeking out someone is kind of think about your um, daily schedule. And I know a lot of our schedules look a little bit different than they might have, you know, um, four or five months ago um, when school was still, you know, in session in, and physical, not just online. But, um, you know, think about the people in your life um, outside of your family. So who do you see every day when you go to school? Um, bus drivers, school workers, um, busy moms, delivery people. Who do you see at your community center gym or place of worship? And can you see how, with a little exploring, you might find out what they hope for? And do you then see how, with research and planning, you could help move forward with one of these women's dreams. And um, that is a great starting point, um, but if you kind of go through those steps of trying to find someone and you're still kind of having a hard time uh, finding someone that you can help out, um, instead of starting out with a who, maybe think about a where. So maybe you are an aspiring artist. Maybe you want to try to find someone and assist someone who dreams of being an artist as well. Um, so kind of seeking out someone who might have similar goals to you. Or maybe you want to um, work with someone who dreams of playing soccer on her school's team. Um, you can find her by going to the logical place that she would hang out, which would be like a community soccer field. Um, so those are just a couple of different um, avenues for finding someone and then once once you think that you've found someone that you want to help um, achieve their dreams, um, here are some questions that you should ask yourself just to make sure that um, you know you've found the right person. So like, does it feel right in your gut? Um, is this person open to assistance? Uh, do you feel you can bring something to the table? Will it give you an opportunity to plan and support and therefore hone your leadership skills? Do you truly care about this person and their dream? Um, is this a serious endeavor? And do you respect this person and does she respect you? And do you believe in her? Uh, those are all really important questions to ask yourself um, when you are starting to kind of zero in on a dreamer to assist. Um, because if the person isn't open to assistance, then that's kind of the end of the line there. Um, you're not really going to make a lot of progress if someone isn't open to being helped. And um, also, is it a serious endeavor? I think that's also really important because, you know, if it's just kind of a joke or if it's not something that they're really passionate about, you know, eventually you're going to get really 
tired of helping them work on this if it's not something that they are also very um, serious about. So those are some questions that you can ask to um, kind of help figure, help you figure out am I with the right person uh, for this take action project. So we have been spending um, quite a bit of time um, kind of planning out how we can give bliss to the people in our lives. Um, now I just want us to kind of take a break uh, to live our own bliss. And so for a lot of people, myself included, um, a great way to find bliss in our day-to-day -day lives is by having a hobby. And my personal hobby is um, crafting. I do a lot of um, embroidery. Um, and I just want to highlight this craft, which is making pendants out of maps. Um, all you need is some old maps and then something to make a pendant out of. And then the pendant can be, you know, worn around your neck as a necklace or you could attach it to, you know, a keychain or something like that. Um, but I just think that it's a lovely metaphor um, because our dreams are often tied to specific places. Um, so maybe you, you know, put a specific location on your pendant. So like I'm from Indiana and that's where, you know, growing up a lot of my dreams were rooted in. So maybe I put a little bit of Indiana on a pendant or maybe you have um, dreams rooted somewhere else. Maybe you have a dream to live somewhere eventually or, you know, to move somewhere or go to school in a different place. Um, so maybe that's something that you could stick on your pendant. Um, but it is entirely up to you. And the other um, great element of the kind of metaphor is that, um, you know, before Google Maps, before um, Apple Maps and all that great stuff, we did have um, actual atlases and roadmaps that we would follow. Um, and it's a great callback to, you know, there's not just one route that you can take, quite literally. There's so many different roads that you can take um, to get to your final destination, um, both physically, um, you know, in travel, but also um, in your dreams and in your life. There are so many different routes that you can take to actually um, live your bliss and, you know, achieve those dreams. So that is just a fun craft that you can do making these vintage map pendants. Um, take a break from online school, take a break from studying and have something that you can carry with you as you, um, you know, walk through life. Um, so that is what I am going to leave you with today. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you're healthy. I hope you're well. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much, Girl Scouts. I'll see you next time. Bye.